Hey everybody, welcome to this month's Q&A. It's the last day of February, so I'm just coming in under the wire, but I was gonna do this last weekend, but I realized I forgot the SD card. So, better late than never. Uh, this month's questions and answers comes from my apartment in New York City. Uh, for once, I am not traveling, but give me four more days and I'll be on my way to Austin, Texas. Uh, so we got a lot of questions, um, and some really good ones and interesting ones this time. So let's get to it. Ashir asks, what's my best and worst place? Uh, a lot of w ways to answer that question, but I'm going to say favorite country and least favorite country. My favorite country is Thailand. My least favorite country is Vietnam. Why Vietnam? Well, I wrote a whole post about why I dislike Vietnam. So I'm just going to link to that in the show notes so you can read that. That caused uh, quite a bit of controversy, I must say. Tony asks, what's my favorite island destination? Uh, I love Koh Lipe, Thailand. It's an island sort of south of, uh, in the south, near the Malaysian border. Uh, in 2006, I spent a month there, and uh, that month still remains uh, one of my favorite moments while I've been traveling the world. Um, Pete asks, am I going to write about New York City now that I'm sort of no longer nomadic Matt and more stationary Matt? Uh, I sure do. Uh, there's so much to see and do in, here in New York City. Uh, you know, I'm going to plan to write about the neighborhoods, restaurants, off the beaten track things to do, and the people here. You know, I'm trying to get a really insider's view on New York City. Aaron and Jason both want to know what advice do I have for new bloggers? Well, you know, be different. That's what I'll say there. You know, find your unique story. Uh, you know, just don't repeat what other people are doing. Uh, for more information, I have two books on the subject, and I teach a course on blogging, so I'll just link to all that in the show notes. But the simple, quick answer is be different. Adventure Jobs wants to know, what are some ways to get a job overseas without a work visa? You know, summertime in Greece and Portugal, there's a lot of under the table bar jobs. Uh, Southeast Asia, you can get a teaching job pretty easily without a work visa. But for the most part, you know, go through the proper channels because you don't really want to be deported, not do you? Agent asked, what was one of the most unforeseen challenges I faced while traveling? Uh, when I started traveling, I was pretty directionally challenged. Um, I get lost very easily. Um, not so much anymore. I'm actually really good with a map. and. My internal compass is uh, pretty spot on. So, I've, uh, yeah, you'll never get lost with me. Uh, Raquel asked, what was my greatest fear when I started traveling? Uh, well, my greatest fear when I started traveling was probably that I'd be alone. And, you know, I'm kind of an introvert. I like my own time. I like my quiet time. And I was really worried that, you know, going overseas by myself without really, you know, the, without a really good ability to just walk up to strangers and say hello, I'd end up always by myself and alone and bored and sad. Uh, but eventually it's, you have to do it, it's sink or swim, and I just got better at meeting people, because uh, I had to. And yeah, so, conquer that fear. Uh, Ellen asks, what is my favorite Southeast destination and why? Well, that actually is still Koh Lipe in Thailand, though I haven't been there in ages, um, simply because I don't want to ruin the memory in my head, but that's still one of my favorite spots. People I know have gone back in recent years and say it's still pretty amazing. A little bit more developed now than it used to be, but still pretty amazing. Uh, Cassie asked, did I get the Japanese encephalitis shot before I went to Southeast Asia? Yes, I did doctor recommended, so I got it. And do I leave my passport when I tra walk away, or walk around, I should say, or do I carry it with me? I leave it locked up in my hostel locker. I don't want to be robbed on the street and then take my passport. Valerie asks, um, would I ever not go somewhere because of safety concerns? You know, I wouldn't really go into Syria at the moment, or you know, be wandering around an area that 
there's you know protests or riots or what have you but I've never not gone somewhere because of safety concerns but that's mostly because if I'm going there it's probably safe to go there all right, Peggy Beans from Twitter asks, strangest place I've ever visited. Hmm. Hmm. Strangest place. Strangest place. Yeah, I really can't think of anything. I don't know how you define strange, but I don't know. Everyone's place seems pretty normal. Yeah, I can't really think of it. Well, I mean, I've been to some unusual places. Ah, uh, the Paris sewers. That's an interesting time walking around the Paris sewers and learning about you know sewer systems and how Paris, which is pretty much a city built on top of a city, which is on top of a city, manages as a wastewater for millions and millions of people. It doesn't smell as bad as you would think. All right, Linda asks, "What the heck is a mileage run?" Uh, a mileage run is when you get on a cheap flight and you fly somewhere simply because. You want the elite status miles so that you can move up on the, the next tier so you can get added benefits. I was going to do this last year, but Hurricane Sandy ruined my trip to Hawaii, which was just going to be fly there, fly back, 10,000 miles, 400 bucks, great deal. Uh, I have a blog post coming up about mileage run, so we'll go into more detail about that in the coming weeks. Brendan asks, what do you have, uh, what are some good sites for teaching English in either Japan or Korea. Uh, well, I have a whole book on the subject too, but a really good site that I like is Dave's ESL Cafe. Uh, that's uh, a job posting board, as well as a forum that's very active with teachers, and they are pretty much can answer any question you have to ask. Um, really responsive community and a really great site for our potential teachers. Chuck asks, what do I think about the new American Airlines U.S. Airways merger and how that affects customers? Um, prices are going to go up. Less competition, less airlines, uh, prices will just go up, especially on domestic tickets. Last question comes from Alex. If I have a limited amount of vacation time, what can I do to travel? You know, travel is not always about you know, going off to some far-flung destination some exotic locale for a month or two weeks or you know however long you need to go travel is just about exploring something new and going somewhere new and that new place can just be your, your around your hometown uh, somewhere near where you live you know just find something new learn something you know say for me for example in New York City you know travel for me would be going all the way up to Queens and you know exploring that place and eating some of the restaurants there. I've, I've never been to Queens. Uh, so for me, that's something I have on my mind and I still consider that travel. So until next month, I will see you later and wherever you are, travel safely.